to get your bolt hanger for the gate to hang a gate on for a hinge and then an energizer. It would be this way, Jonah. It would be near this area. Did we pass it? Yeah, here they are, Jonah. We passed them. I don't know. They don't have... They don't have the brand I'm used to. Or like. I'm gonna have to order it or... We're gonna just look even more and see what we can come up with at home. Look. We're getting real hot. Real hot. There it is. Oh, that one's too thick. Try this one. Oh, they don't have the one you need. Are you serious? Uh, Jonah, I'm gonna look it up and see if they have this at Home Depot. Okay. So we need to go there next. Jonah, they have one at Home Depot. Okay, let's go. So let's go. Here's the bolts. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. I feel like we're getting close. It wasn't in hardware, buddy, so let's try fencing. I don't see it in this section, so we're gonna have to ask customer service. You know, I think Amazon might be underrated here, but they had both my Energizer and your hooks, and it'll be here in two days free on Amazon Prime. <laughs> so, we just wasted, uh, we just wasted 30 minutes of our life, buddy. Well, at least we got to hang out, right? All right, here's the deal. Y'all know I bought a Energizer er, on Amazon. I'm hoping though I can return it because I do have this one. And I believe that's what I had there on last time as of late, but Premier One, it was all right. I can't find this plug. So luckily I have a, what you call a electronics box. And in it was a bunch of different various electronics, including plugs. So let's try it. See that light? That's what we want to blink. I have five of these things. Anybody want to bet if, uh, if we're going to have a match? Nope. Wouldn't even go in the hole. Let's even see if that will go in the hole. Yep, we got one that will go in the hole. Alright, let's plug it in. Somebody cross your fingers for me. Uh oh. It's working. We got to take her, guys. We gotta take her. Hey Beck, I had a plug in the electrical cords in the electrical box that I could plug in this energizer that we already have. Oh, good. So I'm gonna test it for real out there to make sure it's getting heat. I know this is set up, it's got a good grounding. Uh, so I'm gonna hook our new little machine. up to this grounding here and we'll test it to make sure it's hot. I have the ground into our little machine there. We're just gonna see what our options are here, see if this thing's working. Well, the, there's two ways to tell. One, go ahead and grab that. Not as fun as a tester. Here it is, my tester, a lot less painful. Jam this end of the ground. And then put it on our wire. I can barely reach that. I cannot reach that. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Okay. So I couldn't reach that. Gotta unplug it or I'm gonna get shocked. Bring this over. Plug this thing back in. Huh. It's maxing out it. Why is it maxing out at 9.9 .9 and blinking like that? So I have one little weird energizer. I've tested this red one. It's good. I've also got this thing. I brought this out into the sun to hopefully charge up. That's a solar charger. We usually use that on the chickens for the crop gardens, but don't have that right now. So that would be ideal because then we wouldn't have to run electrical cords over there. So. We'll see. We'll see. We'll give this a day. Try it till tomorrow. Hey, buddy. How's it going? It's me. It's you, buddy. Here. 
Wow. That was the first time I ever touched stud muffin. Did you like that, buddy? That, that might be the first time anybody's ever touched you. Was it? Your buddy's coming in uh, just, it's Thursday or Friday. Today's Tuesday. Two days or three days. You ready for the cow? You ready for a mate? We'll get you out on the grass. I'm gonna get the water out. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Let's say there's just two days till the cow comes. That means we have two days to finish up our fence project. I think we can do it. Let's get our lane going out into the field ready. When you know it. It's hard coming back. Like, why? Why? It, it needs an end to come out of here. Like, why do, why do we even have this? It's kind of weird. I feel like a stranger in my own home because uh, I don't remember where everything is. Here are the handles. See, that, that metal at the end. Tied it off at the end, handy little knot, won't let it come through. Boom, one side complete, one more line to go over there. For you new school fans who weren't with us before the Great American Farm Tour, you might be wondering how are you, how are you putting a electric fence over a road? Well, it's a private road, but it is used, so we will take the lane down. All clear. Drive on through. This one, this looks a little hairy. Sometimes you can't put these handles on if they're a little hairy. See how it's see? Aha, got it tied, let's see if it'll reach. Oh, it won't reach. I think I remember that now. This was short, so I tied that for nothing. All right, I got my third line, one line to go. All right, just one last one. <gasps> Are you freezing? It's so cold. It's supposed to snow half an inch tonight. Yeah, it's supposed to snow a little bit. We'll see. There we go. <coughs> what do you think, Beauty? I think it's Is that past the inspection? It passes the inspection. So we got one more day of work tomorrow. Because the cows could be here Thursday. So all we got to do is make sure this fence is hot. You're going to work tomorrow? It's going to be like high of 20. <laughs> I might not have a choice. Just got to make sure the fence is hot and get the water out here but that shouldn't it shouldn't be that bad it's always better to wind these things up on a spool i found out and never do like this because it twists it actually twists it up so you got to do like that 